good morning to everyone. We get ready to begin our morning worship service. We ask that you will come in and find your seats. If you don't have a bulletin, please get one from the ushers that you come in. Amen. So this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Amen. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us come into the house of the Lord. We well, knew in the house of the Lord there was joy. In the house of the Lord there is peace. In the house of the Lord, most of all, there is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that who still believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. It says, O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Psalms 95 and 1. Church is called to order. We are ready for our congregation of him. And we're going to sing uh, at the cross. At the cross where I first saw the light. And the burdens of my heart roll away because it was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. May you stand Let the rocks, let 
scripture and pray. Amen. Our scripture is coming from Psalm 37, verses 1 through 5. And it reads, Fret not thyself because the evil doers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of the nation, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and the wind and the green earth. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be paid. Make thyself also in, also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire of thy heart. Submit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, yes. which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, yes, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. Fathers, once more and again, Father, we come the most humblest way we know how. Yes. Father, we come. Just to tell you thank you. Amen. Just to tell you thank you, Father. Thank you. Just to tell you thank you. Thank you. Father, we come thanking you right now, Father. Thank you. Father, we come thanking you for your mercy and your grace. Yeah. Father, we come thanking you right now. For allowing now, these precious moments just to roll on just a little while on. And Father, we come to worship you yeah. in spirit as well as in truth. Yeah. But more and all, Father, we come to lift up your holy name. Yeah. We come to give you praise this morning, Father. Yeah. For you've been an awesome God. Yeah. For you've been an almighty God. Yeah. For you've been a God without fairness mercy. Yeah. For you've been a God that keeps right on supplying our every need. Yeah. And Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for everything we have this morning, Father. Yes, for we come knowing and acknowledging that you own everything. Yes, and everything we own all belong to you. Yes, but right now, Father, we lift up your name right now. Yes. We lift up your name, Jesus, right now. Yes. We lift up your son, Jesus, right now. Yes. For you sent your only begotten son. Yes, for God, for a wretch like you and me. Yes. And Father, we thank you for it this morning. Thank you for death sending your darling son. Thank you for sending Jesus this morning. The name Jesus this morning. The power in the name of Jesus this morning. And we come calling on the name Jesus this morning. We need healing this morning. We need you this morning. And we feel you in the room this morning. Thank you for your power this morning. Thank you for your salvation this morning. Thank you for your grace this morning. Thank you for your mercy this morning. Thank you for your holiness this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, we thank you for our shepherd this morning. We thank you for Dr. U.C. Barnes. We thank you for Dr. Gladys Barnes. We thank you for Dr. Sister Nikki Barnes. We thank you for our husband this morning, Ray Ray. Ray, thank you. Thank you for su Sister Ray Booker and Brother Ray, Brother Ray Booker. Thank you for all the children and the grandchildren. We thank you for their family this morning. As we go into celebration, we ask that you just bless them right now. Bless them right now. Thank you for the 28 years they've been here at the Red. Thank you for them right now. Thank you for them right now. Thank you for them right now. Thank you right now, Father. We lift them up to you right now. We give you the praise this morning. We thank you for them right now. We ask that you bless them right now. Bless everybody that's in the room right now. Pour out a fresh anointing right now. We love your name this morning. We praise your name this morning. We love calling the name of Jesus this morning. 
We just love that name Jesus. We love that name Jesus this morning. We love that name Jesus. We love that name Jesus. We love that name Jesus. We love calling the name of Jesus. We love that name here this morning. We love you this morning, Father. We praise your name. Have your way in this service, Father. We come to give you all the praise, all the thanks, and all the glory. It all belongs to you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Church, amen again. Amen. Amen. It's all right to praise his name. What he's worth that? Of all our praises. This time we're getting ready to move higher in praise. I said we're getting ready to move higher in praise. So I'm asking for the praise team. I'm asking for the praise team. That's you. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm ready to praise the name. Look at your neighbor one more time and say, I'm ready to praise his name. Amen. Sister PJ, don't lose your praise. Look at somebody and say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I come here to do one thing, and that is to lift up the name of Jesus. How many come to do that? How many really come to do that? You know, this is the high where you can do that. Lift up the name of Jesus. How many know that nobody can do me like Jesus? High five somebody said, nobody. Come on, y'all have to work with me. Y'all don't have to work with me. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Come on, Nikki. Let me ask you this question. How many love the Lord today? How many can thank you, Sister Wilson? Thank you. How many come here to lift up the name of Jesus? Girls, can you turn this up a little bit, Christ? He's worthy. He's worthy. Sometimes we have to stir up that spirit.
for there is no want to them that fear him. Come on, mission boys. Amen. They're coming at this time.
ask Heavenly Father this day. 28 years of casting your seed on Sister Glad is gone. With all the congregation and their families, Lord. As we stand with the pastor and wife this day. 28 long years. Let everyone rejoice as you heal their bodies and touch their minds. Then, Lord, we just ask that you will just lead us, God, as a director.
Jesus in your way. He's not free. He's not free. I claim that that's not free. He's not free. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He looked beyond my faults. My own faults. And saw my need. He did the same thing for you. Because we serve that kind of God. He don't hold it against you. He won't hold it against you. And he's got an enemy to give He won't give it to you and take it back. We serve that kind of God. Yes, we do. We love the Lord that we serve. Because he first loved us. Amen. Can anybody do it like Jesus? Because it's our seats. This is the past. It's our seats. You have to claim to be to be blessed. Come on, Sister Lisa. Amen. She's coming by now.
is the men's night out with the pastor. And then on Sunday, <clears throat> November 11th, Amen. 2018, at 3.30 p.m., yeah. the 28th Appreciation Celebration Service. <laughs> Right out the church service, all men, will, will you please me, with the president, with Archie Fleming, and myself, and the real the church, and we got it together. We got it together, all men, real quick, right out the church, meet us in the back, and we got our plans together, we're going to do what we do. Amen. amen. Church, amen. amen. Come on, Brother Mike.
Let us hear from the mission course one more time. Amen. Amen. Come on, mission. Pastor said, Mission Corps is looking good. Amen.
the How many love the Lord today? How many really love the Lord today? You ever ask yourself, how many really love the Lord today? I'm not talking about for somebody else's in here. I'm talking about the those in your God. What's your name is how I love you. Oh, you ain't talking to me. Look at your name and say, I love him. Look at your name and say, I love the Lord. So when you do that, it puts you in worship mode. It puts you in the spirit of God. When you tell Satan, Satan, get behind me. You all have some authority. Satan, get behind me. The Lord woke me up this morning. The Lord stayed me on my way. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for singing. Thank you, people, for praying. Thank you, worship leader. Thank you, Jesus. Come in the house to worship him. And him I will worship. I declare I will worship him. I demand that I will worship him. With authority, I can look at the mountain and say, Mountain? Get out of my way.
you got health and strength. Look around. You got food on your table. Look around.
in the book of Genesis. Are you there? Around the 25th verse. Are you there? Around the 25th chapter. The 19th verse. Is that better? Yeah. Have you seen that before? Yeah. I'm having church Sunday school people in here. Uh-huh. Well, now y'all ought to help me push this thing. I'll teach you anyway. For a few minutes. The Bible says, and these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son, Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old, and when he took Rebekah to, to wife, the daughter of Bethulah, is that right? Bethulah, the Serene, uh, Pandaram, the sister to Laban, the Serene, Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her and she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Now let's stop right there and say, God is moving in you. I think that'll work. Amen. Because what I'm dealing with, you may be seated in the presence of God. What I'm dealing with is I'm dealing with uh, Jacob was the young son, if you read the lesson, of Isaac and Rebekah. Jacob, the younger son, and Esau was his twin brother to Jacob. Are you with me? And God, you, you, you know, so just something about that. Are you listening to me? God changed his name from Jacob to Israel, which means God prevails after Jacob proved his perseverance by wrestling with an angel. Uh, when I looked at that, it caught my attention because I looked at God moving on the head of the church. And it says here that, uh, that Jacob wrestled with the angel. Am I right about it? Uh, all night long. How many of you been praying all night? How many have been praying 10 minutes? And how many have been praying for the Lord? If you really want God to move in your life, you ought to have some connection with praying with an angel of prayer all night long. Jacob prayed all night and told the angel, and I ain't gonna let you go until you bless my soul. Look at somebody and say, I'm looking for a blessing. Oh, I ain't got nobody praying with me here. Jacob was a man, the younger son. And Jacob proved his perseverance by wrestling with an angel all night. That's in Genesis 32 and 22 and 32. Esau was the eldest son. In other words, Esau was older than Jacob, and he was the eldest son of Isaac and Rebekah, and the twin brother of Jacob. Both of them, isn't it wonderful here to understand that there's two brothers uh, being born at the same time? And what we call them today is twins, you know? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, there was Esau and Jacob 
in Rebecca's womb, and the eldest son of Isaac was Esau, and and the twin brother of Jacob. Now Esau was an outdoors one, and he was a rugged fella. In other words, it wasn't easy on that. When you looked at Esau, you didn't see nothing pretty. You, you just saw, you just saw a rugged outdoors man. Esau was favored by his father because he looked rough and tough. He looked boisterous and bad. And he was an outdoors man. He was a hunter. But Esau went to live in the mountain. He wouldn't even live in the city. He went to the mountain to live. Front of the business, you went down by Moab. You do know that Moab, don't you? Anything you ever learn and do under cover, it happened in Moab. I'm going to preach here this morning, Pastor. Anybody ever been to Moab? Uh, we don't call it Moab today, we call it Las Vegas. Can I get a witness here? Uh, uh, anybody ever lived in Moab? Anybody ever been to Moab? Well, you ain't got to go to Las Vegas. We can just go right across downtown. Oh, you understand? It hit them slotless. I wish I had some help. Anything that went on, it happened in Moab. Uh, I got some preachers up here telling me how to get the free book. So they tell me they know what they're talking about. Can I get a witness here? But that means somebody been somewhere. I don't know how to get there, but something. Help me move around here. Yeah. Esau, watch this, was favored by his father. Hmm. The Abbey, he was great. So we're going to 
going to help him out. We're going to let the handmaiden do some business. Oh, y'all ain't caught me yet. Am I preaching this thing good? Is anybody enjoying me? So what happened was, when the women that were Abraham nine months later, it may have come down from Hagar. And let me tell you something. You can start planning all the world. But I can see planning from last week's lesson. She got jealous. I'm talking about Satan. Satan got jealous of Hagar. Because Hagar was smelling good and looking good. And Abraham was hanging around. I wish I had some help. Maybe he was hanging around. Yeah. Y'all ain't coming to your house. You got a sister? We got it. Yeah. <sighs> but let me tell you something. What you plan, God can run the plan. Can we get a witness here? Watch what happened. Ishmael was conceived by the handmaiden who could be used at birth and an heir in the case of a barren wife. It was not a sin. It was not wrong for Abraham to be with Hagar at that time. Are y'all listening to me? What happened was it was a custom of their country. And I better talk about custom. You better be careful who you marry. You better be careful who you hook up with. Can I get a witness here? You marry somebody that ain't in your custom. They don't understand what you understand. They don't understand the struggle you've been through. They don't understand why you had to win. You got somebody, you in the church trying to live holy, and you got a bozo out there. I wish I had some help here. But his lifestyle is at the club. His lifestyle is taking a 40 ounce every day. Can I get a witness here? And you talking about he a change. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can I get a witness here? You're a sanctified wife. You're a sanctified mother. And where you is with an unholy man. Oh, can I get a witness here? You need to address yourself. Can I get a witness here? And look around and see, did you pray for that man you got? Did you pray for that woman you got? Did you ask God to give me what I need? He may be gray, he may be ugly, he may be unkind, but his personality may be in the right place. Oh, I feel like preaching this morning. And they keep telling this one of Can I help you? Can I help you? Let me help you. You go on to work every day. Working like a slave. He home smoking dope. Waiting on you to get off. But you got you ain't got sense enough to keep your car keys. You need to the car keys. Oh, I wish I had a prayer trip for. Can I get a witness here? You give him the car keys. And he died and sat in man and around all over town. Well, you on a job working. Can I get a witness here? You better check yourself. You better ask God if this. Any man that won't work, don't need to eat. Can I get a witness? The Bible says a man that won't work is worse than an infidel. You ought to be on a job. But you see, they have on a job. How do you get the roads mixed up? This man. Old man? Old man? Well, I gotta move 
from somewhere else. Shake them 
iniquity. Until God say, you don't like the fool. Can I get a witness here? You can do things you know have been right. It's called you ain't saved yet. But when you get saved, well, watch this. Two nations who will be at odds with one another. One of them, and then when they get here, they're going to be separated. Mama, 
mama. And if mama didn't hear it right, he'd get real sweet with mama. He knew how to get to the heart. He knew all the words to say. I wish I had some help here. But when he started with this whole weather car, he got hungry. And when he got hungry, are you listening to the mama? When he get hungry. Look, look, can I tell you something? When I go to the fair, over, when I go to the fair, and don't look at me like I'm crazy, I do go to the fair. That's the best smelling popcorn and hot dogs you ever smell in your life. And you talking about hunger? I took Ray Allen Rainbow and we went to Conway. Said, Papa, I want this. No, no, no. Papa, I want, no, no. But what you bring us to the Conway for? <laughs> So he said to me, I will give you what you want, but you got to sell your birthright. Don't, don't sell your soul to the devil. <sighs> you see, it looks good over here. It smells good over here. It tastes good over here. But when you get over that, you've lost your birthright. Well, maybe you ought to be careful when fellas are whispering in your ear. Don't sell your soul for a hamburger. Don't sell your soul for a one night stand. Don't sell your soul. I wish I had some help here this morning. Don't sell it. Satan will trick you. I appreciate you like this morning. Don't sell it. Your soul. You are somebody. Walk like somebody. You know somebody. You, you know why we don't dress like the devil? You know why we ain't shaking and faking like the devil? Because we got works in our life. Can I get a witness here? You know why you sanctify? You know why you ain't doing Beyonce dance? It's because you got holiness in your life. Can I get a witness here? You been saved and sanctified. Yeah. Yeah. I said this. Don't say it yourself. From nickels and dimes. You are somebody. And you are valued as something. The doors of the church is open. When you come here, you're going to get the word of God. I'm going to preach to you the Bible. Are you listening to me? So when you leave here, you're ready to stand and walk. When you leave here, you're ready to talk. When you leave here, you'll feel Jesus all over you. The doors of the church is open. You can come by now, or you can come as a candidate.
Lord, when you come, forgive us, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God. Yeah. Yeah.
today. We thank you for all that you have done for us. May the Lord rise to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. And may the world sunshine in your face. And soft wind fall on your feet. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Let us all sing together. Embrace the person next to you and tell them that.